I am going to Yangping. Yang Yang That's in a different country. I'm Mike Dimas, and this is Pinball Shenanigans. Hey, what's going on, Shenaniganders? Um, so, Yagpin. What is Yagpin? It is uh, happening very soon, and uh, like today is what is today Monday, and we are leaving on Wednesday, the twentieth of July, to go to Yagpin, which is basically Canada's biggest pinball tournament, I believe. Uh, it is kind of like a mini Pinberg and Papa all in one. There's going to be about four different tournaments, maybe five. And uh, it is our first time going. Sean, Julie, and I are going to travel together, but there are many other Ontarians and shenaniganders locally that are going to be there as well. Um, there will be a good Ontario contingent in Yagpin. So Yagpin is uh, in Edmonton and uh, oh, also turns out that uh, the Pope is going to be there on the Sunday with also about 250,000 people uh, planning to attend that which could be interesting. Kind of reminds me of when I went to Pinburg in 2019 I believe it was when Hillary Clinton showed up in the same facility so should be interesting but Yagpin biggest pinball tournament in Canada. I think there's close to 200 people attending in the main event, which like I said, is a Pinberg style. Where's my lanyard here? See if I can grab a lanyard. Come on, Pinberg. Here we go. Let's see. Pinberg 2019. There we go. I was there. I was at a few of them, but uh, it has the same format. Basically, you play uh, in a match play format with a group of three or four people, and you play on four different machines, and they're uh, all different eras of, uh, you know, EM, early solid state, uh, or, you know, early DMD, late DMD. It's kind of mixed up into uh, those groups. So you play a variety of games against a bunch of different people. And so uh, once you play your four games, that's one round. And then after five rounds, you get um, placed into whatever, depending on how well you did, placed into uh, A, B, or C division. So then day, that would be day one. That would be like the Thursday. You play your five rounds. Day two, you're allocated to like A, B, or C division. And on day two, you play another five rounds. And you have to place in the top, I think, 24 or 36 uh, on day two within your division in order to advance to the playoffs on the Sunday. Anyway, um, that is the main event, and then there's a couple other side events. So this is the one I'm talking about. Actually, before I get too far ahead, let's just check out the action. Two days, nine hours, 12 minutes, and 34 seconds. we got some cool art here. I don't know if Kind of looks franchi don't you, don't you think? Christopher Franchi-ish. Um, so this is in Sherwood Park, Alberta. We're going to be staying a little extra because our flight got delayed. Oh, and then it got delayed again. So we actually have to pick up another couple extra nights. So we're just going to do the touristy thing while we're there. We're going to go to Red Deer, Alberta and check out the scenery on the following Monday and then the Tuesday which we have to stick around for we're going to go to Drumheller which has a really cool dinosaur museum so we'll keep ourselves occupied but yeah our uh, four-day tournament turned into like a friggin seven-day uh, event but that's okay we're, we're gonna make the best of it we're gonna have fun uh, so what else do we want to talk about here so this is the match play that I was talking about uh, looks like 192 players so far uh, 150 bucks to get in. It's run by um, Die Hard Pinball and um, uh, Derek, uh, uh, what's his uh, name there? Derek, uh, ding, ding, ding. Of course, when I try and think of names, they don't come to me. But when I stop thinking about it, it will. But uh, by the team, oh yeah, also Carl D'Angelo is going to be uh, providing the software drains tournament manager for the event. Um, so 
it's gonna it's gonna be awesome we got it's a pro circuit event uh ifpa certified match play 2022 oh okay so another fun thing that they're doing is um oh here's here's what i was talking about about the um the whole thursday you play your five rounds that's going to last from like 8 a.m registration to 9 15 p.m roughly then day two you play within your division um but another fun thing that they're doing is uh where is this fantasy pinball you know like your fantasy football well this is a uh, yeg pin fantasy pinball so what you can do uh, i think you have to be attending i don't know for sure is pick five players and each player in that is attending Yagpin is allocated a, a dollar value. So you get to pick five players and you got to stay within 250 bucks. So for example, the number one seed attending Yagpin is Eric Stone. So obviously he's going to be most expensive. He's $103.21, uh, which is a significant jump from seed number two, Jermaine Mariol at 77 bucks then we got jim belcito carl d'angelo Derek price robert byer stephen bowden robert gagno uh also fellow canadian um alberto santana luke nahorniak tim sexton phil birnbaum trent augustine jack tadman johnny monica Kerry wing so uh you can see that there's a lot of awesome players that are going to be attending and it will be amazing to be able to compete against these uh people uh, hopefully I get grouped with them uh, in the first round at the very least because it's completely random or hopefully I play well enough that I am playing the good players like some of these players and uh, you know I was able to play Robert Gagno a couple times at Pinburg that was pretty awesome oh yeah there's a uh, Jeff Teolis at 44 bucks so I already made my picks I did a few changes so I don't remember exactly I think I got Derek Price Carl D'Angelo. I started with Eric Stone, but he was just too expensive. I had to spread my eggs into several baskets. Uh, so I got Derek, got Robert. Uh, I got Jack Tadman because he is amazing. If you don't know Jack Tadman, uh, then you should because he's uh, he's like from Toronto and um, yeah, he's uh, he's killer. And then uh, by that time of spending all that money, you know the 73 bucks what did i say Derek price and carl yeah so that's like 145 bucks there uh plus jack so we're at like almost 200 so i can only spend another i needed a couple cheapos so if you go down to the very bottom you see the the cheapest uh player is 20 dollars. okay that's the base value but Yours truly, Ick, Mike Dimas, shenanigan, or there's Julie, $20. Look how much money I am. It's going to cost you an extra, where are you, 53 cents. I am one tier above the bottom. Boom. Uh, it says I'm not division restricted. Uh, I wanted to check the restrictions, actually, because... Uh, in the recent times, I placed in a few IFPA. Um, I had a couple decent finishes. So, I moved into the top 1,000. And I wonder if uh, that might restrict me. So, I'm like 928th player now. Uh, there's when I met Mr. Gary Stern in 2008. A, no, 2009, and uh, never seen, never met him since. But I haven't been to a lot of the the main shows and stuff. But uh, so that's one of my favorite photos. That's uh, pretty freaking cool. Oh, oh, gave away my age. Ding dong. Uh, I'm player 3090, which means I registered way back in 2008. So I'm one of the uh, early adapters, I guess you could say. Anyway, last few finishes. First at the Tri-City Pinball League, second at Maple Pinball, third at Maple Pinball. Put me into the top uh, 1,000. So give me a moment here. I'm going to look at the division restrictions and make sure that uh, it's accurate. Okay, check this out. Um, so 
The main division is restricted to players with an IFP rank of 250 or less. So if you're ranked 250, 1 to 250, that means you cannot play in any of the other, other divisions. So I guess that means if you don't qualify in the A division after day one, does that mean you don't get to play at all? Because you can't play in the B or C. But check this out. The B division is restricted to players with a rank of 250 to 1,000. That is me. Uh, I'm going to actually reach out to uh, Derek um, Fudge. Why can't I remember his name? I know his name, but it'll come to me. <laughs> and reach out to him and let him know that my uh, my ranking has changed and because uh, I don't want them to you know if I suck bad enough they put me in the C division and I'm playing it and I'm not realizing that I'm not even allowed to so I don't want that to happen uh, and novice division is restricted to players with a rank of a thousand or greater so looks like I am restricted after all but um, here check this out I'll be right back I kind of skimmed over a couple things and wanted to make sure I didn't leave anything out. This space is 26,000 square feet of gaming, making this the biggest Yeg pin show ever. Uh, one admission fee per day to play all games in the free play area. About 225 machines are going to be there. So that's pretty sweet. Four sanctioned IFPA events, cash prizes, and custom trophies. Additional events such as Yag Pin After Dark, Best in Show Awards, and a silent auction. Okay, that'll be fun. Um, and let's just for fun go over to Pinball Machine. So this is the free play area. And it's got a list of all the games that are going to be there. Oh, looks like, oh wait, there is at least five pages worth of machines there. Oh, I hope... Um, my screen, I haven't really been paying to my paying attention to my um, phone there. Hopefully it's not been kind of going in and out like that. I think it doesn't like this, these white pages when I scroll. Uh, so, for sale pinball machines, they don't have prices, but uh, that's pretty cool. Oh, you can buy a CSI. That's a cool game. Uh, vendor booth. There is going to be all the latest and greatest machines there. Alien LE. Alien SE, Alice Cooper's Nightmare Castle, Cactus Canyon Fathom, Funhouse 2.0, that'll be interesting, uh, Guns N' Roses, Halloween, Led Zeppelin, Valhalla, Oktoberfest, Rush, Big Lebowski, Paps Can Crusher, I forgot all about that, Mandalorian Pro and Premium, Toy Story, oh cool, Ultraman, Willy Wonka, and uh, yeah, so that would be pretty freaking awesome. The uh, Tournament Machines, here is, you know, bank number one will have Black Knight, Sword of Rage, an old EM Gemini, early to late modern sol solid state fishtails, and then solid state embryon. So there's the mix that I was talking about of machines. Uh, bank two, Turtles, Wizard, Whitewater, and Stargazer. So I've kind of briefed over the list. You can't really... You don't necessarily want to study all 80 games. Uh, you can, but uh, it's a lot of work. I know most of these machines, at least a little bit. I'm going to rely on that knowledge, and maybe uh, if I get some time, I will study some stuff that I'm not all that familiar with. Like, let's see, where are my super, super weak laser cue? I don't know. Uh, G GG or GG? I don't know that, but it's EM, so... EMs are usually fairly simple to figure out. A big game I'm not really all that familiar with. I think it's a spinner on the top left. It is kind of clutch nine ball. I don't know really at all. And uh, let's see. Oh, like, um, yeah, Turtles. I've never played it. So uh, I think you picked Donatello because it's a multi ball, maybe. So anyway, that's. Uh, and then, okay, let me go back one more. Uh, spot here and talk uh, just a briefly a little, I don't know how enthralling or boring this is but uh, I just kind of wanted to talk about Yegpin I didn't really have a, a script or an idea of what the hell I was going to talk about but I just go with the flow it's a shenanigander way so there is a cancer knockout cancer pinball tournament and uh, I think this is the one that's like the old papa format where you play five games your choice all on one piece of paper 
and um, you get a, if you get first place on all five, you'd get like 100 points for each machine. You, most you can get is 500 points. And uh, you want to rinse and repeat until you got five of your best games on the same piece of paper. Uh, let's see. Let's see do, 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 do. 20 tickets is $50. Qualification, the tournament will be using a herb style. Oh, best score with unlimited qualifying attempts using Papa position rank scoring. Yep, there it is. Oh, first is 200 points. So the best you do on one card is, uh, you know, 1,000 points. Using Drain's tournament software. Uh, so registration is available for the first 400 competitors. Okay, I don't think we'll have to worry about running out of uh, space for that one. Uh, all division restrictions are the same. Final start then, uh, but uh, is it like five machines on one card? Anyway, I don't want to bore you too much, but yeah. So that's uh, qualifying hours are Thursday, all Thursday, all Friday, and a little bit Saturday. Oh yeah, a lot Saturday. Okay, that's cool. Um, okay, so one moment. Here's a good shot of uh, kind of give you an idea of what's going on. So match play, here's the dates, here's the different events. That runs Thursday, Friday, Saturday playoffs. Women's match play championships uh, looks like qualifying Saturday and playoffs Sunday. The knockout cancer pinball tournament qualifying like all week long weekend, Thursday, Friday, Saturday playoffs. I forget how many uh, players make the top uh, make the playoffs here I think only 24 so you're gonna have to play a good pinball pro championship that actually might be the five yeah I think you got to get uh, five good games on one card on this here this is just try and get your best score doesn't matter um, if it's all on the same card or not and then youth championships happen Saturday so the goal is to do well enough to make some of the playoffs on Sunday and uh, you know it would be nice to make the main playoffs in the match play event. Okay yes in fact the pinball pro championship is the event where you'll be using an unlimited pop of five machine card style using pop-up position rank and scoring so yeah first is a hundred points so say there's like 20 machines in a bank you pick five you play five say you get first on all five you have yourself 500 points all right that's a good card then you go uh you know you're you'd be done at that point but let's say uh you buy another card and you your first game you get three house balls so you're probably going to get like a zero um and then you'll have to do really well in the next four games, otherwise you won't have a chance. Well, you could, in theory. Anyway, the trick about this format is that you really need to be consistent on the five games you choose and play consecutively on the same card. So that's gonna be challenging. Uh, top 16 scores will qualify for main playoffs. Wow, that's uh, gonna be tough uh, with all the players that are attending. Um, yeah, that's going to be a challenge, but I'll give it a shot. Oh yeah, and it's called Yegpin because the airport in Edmonton is Y-E-G. Okay, so I um, hope I didn't ramble on there too long. I know uh, a lot of uh, podcasts get crap for talking about too much tournament talk, but uh, I am going to Yegpin. That's in a different country. Um, and uh, I'm excited. I'm going to be obviously not doing much uh, shenanigans at home and around here for a good solid uh, eight or whatever days. So uh, I will hope to take some footage at Yegpin, at least do one walk around on one day. It'll be very busy and packed, but I will try my best to make sure I capture some of the Yegpin action because. Uh, it's going to be awesome. I'm excited. We're all excited. And we're leaving very soon. Um, and if you guys uh, are in the area, pop by and play some pinball and come say hi. Um, 
thanks for watching. We'll see you guys at Yegpin. Oh, I almost forgot to mention, um, look, first of all, look at all these shenaniganders that are going to be going to Yegpin. Mike Dimas, Sean Russell, Shane Jackson. Um, I saw someone else. Oh, but oh yeah, so my point was that uh, I forgot to mention the other two people I picked. Well, of course, I picked myself because I'm cheap. And the other top tier shenanigander. You better represent, brother. Eden Stam. So, there's where the good money is at. We'll see you at Yegpin. Derek Thompson, I knew I'd remember.